My laboratory is called the Lab of Biomedical Sensing, which covers some of the areas of biomedical sensors, which are microscopic tools, which can be used to measure different molecules in biomedical samples. What we do is not really tool development. It is problem-oriented research, and we develop these tools when it is necessary, when they are needed. The long-term end goal is to help patients through learning and understanding processes that are not well known yet. And one line of research is uh, focusing on cancer, therapeutics, how cancer drugs are absorbed in cells, how cancer drugs are absorbed in tissue, how deep they go. We did work on cancer cell monolayers and we found new things because of the tools we used. But then we reduced the, the size of everything further and it was possible for us to measure for the first time what happens with cancer drugs at single individual cancer cells. This has never been done before. First we focused on how these cells become drug resistant, which is one of the biggest problems in therapy. We measured much higher efflux of cancer drugs from drug resistant cells than from drug sensitive cells, and for the first time quantitatively at single cells. From this we learned that this drug release is extremely fast from single drug resistant cells, and this is because the existence of pump proteins in the cell membrane which actively pump out these drugs. We can actually calculate the total amount of drug inside the cell from a measurement that is made outside the cell, which partly explains why drug therapy, even after application of the drug and its disappearance from the blood, there is an effect for such a long time because there are very large number of molecules there. We became interested in three-dimensional tissue-like structures. So what we have is a spherical model of tumor tissue between capillaries. This is based on is that, first of all, we can disperse the cells of interest uniformly and we can make hemisphere out of this. And we can look at it from underneath, which creates like a window into this model tissue. And with different techniques, we can measure lots of things what happens inside, for example, drug penetration. One problem that causes failure often of chemotherapy is that the drugs don't penetrate deep enough from the capillaries into the tissue. So we can very clearly see how slowly the drugs penetrate. 